what's up everyone it's the fierce zilla here and today we are gonna take a look at um the mega godzilla and the mega kong from the godzilla vs kong playmates figure line and without further ado let's go ahead and take a close-up look at these figures. And here we go. All right, everyone. So first things first, let's see who are we going to choose to start off with first. We have Godzilla and we have Kong. I'd say let's go with Kong and save the best for last. So let's go ahead and put them off to the side for now. And go on ahead and bring Kong up front and center. So again, here you are going to see well, right now, before you, here we got the Mega Kong, and I believe it is much taller than 12 inches, or roughly about. Well, I know obviously that's not true either, but you get my point where it's a little bit higher than in the last video that we went over the giant Godzilla figures from Godzilla vs. Kong. And here with this Kong, he of course is... A little bit bigger than that giant Kong as well as the giant Godzilla is a little bit smaller than the Mega Godzilla. So with here with the detail of this sculpt you can see that with the appearance of Kong as he has a lot of fur so there is texture to the mold of the body to where it's very noticeable as, well, he's Kong, so he's going to have a lot of fur. And mainly where he won't, and it's all smooth, on his body is the chest, the feet, the hands, and the face. Now, as far as with the backside of Kong... You're going to have where I take is, is where they covered the screw holes right here. As you can see the little bit of the visible indentations of the holes. And the only obvious screw hole is right here in the back where you're going to have to replace the batteries at some point. And of course above that is the button to press to activate the lights and sound of this Kong figure. Now as far as with the color of Kong, he is much of a light brown color with on the smooth parts of his body a little bit of a light uh, of a light black. And I'd say like where on his On his hands and on his face, it's a little bit of a, a different shade of brown. And then, of course, the scarring on his chest. And then he has a little bit of that white yellowish teeth there. And then that red tongue. And then the eyes there to where they're all... Well, they're all black because of the where the light emits on the figure. And as far as with the face, he looks like he's ready to do battle because of his battle axe. And I must say, this is a big battle axe
And with the battle axe here, you can see that it is of a brown color for the bone and the wrapping bandages that wrap around to have the axe of the Godzilla dorsal plate attached to it. And it's pretty much of a blue color with some, I guess, unfinished paint detailing as you can see there's still partially mix of the brown overlapping on top of the blue but let's go ahead and pop that back on to Kong Okay, so now as far as with the articulation goes, he has that in the arm. So we can move the arm at this, well, at this joint right here, up and down as far as that'll go. You can rotate the arm all the way around like so. And then here, got another joint on the body. You can rotate well, the elbow right here, or forearm, I should say. Or you can rotate it all the way around. And you can also open it all the way, like so, and open it, or sorry, bending, I should say. And with the fist, you can rotate that all the way around and the same would go for well the other side as well but only difference is is that this hand is open to hold the battle axe so right now with the feet a little bit tougher to rotate the feet but nonetheless you can rotate the feet and last but not least with the head with the head here you can rotate that all the way around like so and you can open and close the mouth. Closed, open, closed, open. Yeah, you, get, you guys get the point. But the moment you've all been waiting for. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see. All right, so you have mostly two options of how you want to approach of activating the lights and sound either you can twist the body and it'll make the sound and the lights And that is another point of where the body can twist the top portion of the body here. And at another point, as mentioned before, on this back side here, you can press a button that will activate the lights and sound. So as you can see there, you have quite the selection of roars to go with, 
for this Mega Kong figure. And now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the Godzilla figure now. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at uh, the Mega Godzilla here and start off with the articulation on this figure here so with the arms you can rotate them all the way around and just like with that giant Godzilla you can rotate the hands and with the legs here So, with the legs, that's pretty much as how far they can go with, go, well, bending forward. And now, with bending backwards, that's pretty much as far as they can go, as there is a limit to the legs of how far you can bend them forward and back. And of course, with the feet, you can almost rotate them all the way around, as the one concerning problem would be that when the foot meets this part on the figure, yeah, don't really want to try to force that. So I'd say that's as far you, as, well, you should go with moving the feet. And last but not least, here now, you have the tail rotation. To where at this part on the segment of the tail, you can remove it and also put it back on as you wish. Now, as far as with rotating, there you have it. And you can also give the tail a little bit of a wiggle here. Alright everyone, the moment you all have been waiting for so at the portion of the body of where the figure lights up it's going to be here the button's going to be on the right side of the figure of where you activate the lights and sound and it kind of blends in also with the color of this figure a uh, very of a shade of a light of a light dark gray color with of course the iconic blue dorsal plates here and with the toes they are they are black for the claws as well uh, with the mouth he does have a really faded gray teeth and a very faded pink tongue. And as the same with the eyes goes, they're all, well, all black to allow the light to pop, to pop out of the figure. And of course, with the dorsal plates on the back, they are translucent. And as you can see, we, it's not quite obvious, we are indeed outside. And that's what these plates, torso plates, would look like and shining of the light from the sun. Well, at least for the most part. Alright, everyone. So now, really with the moment you've been waiting for, the lights.
So, my apologies. With the eyes, so with the eyes, they glow blue, which I'll take a close-up look of, again, this part of the figures, because I did not mention that for Kong. But with Kong, his eyes glow red, and as Godzilla, his eyes glow blue. And one thing to also mention is that when Godzilla roars, his dorsal plates charge up and activate. And they go down, one at a time. And also with this figure, it comes with these heat ray beams that can shoot out from Godzilla's mouth and all you gotta do is you gotta stick it in his mouth because there's a hole in his mouth that you just gotta slide it through and that's pretty much as far as that'll go so if you wanted to you can take your Kong, play some like so, have Godzilla directly standing in front of Kong, and as you push the button, this beam, heat ray beam, will shoot out and fire at Kong. So let's see what that looks like. All right, well, that was a fail, so obviously I did something wrong there. Okay, there we go. So it looks like, in my mistake, with these beams, there is a groove, as you can see now, on this side. And if I go sideways there, you can't really see it, but here in this angle, you can see that it does have to go in a certain way in Godzilla's mouth. So let's go ahead and try that again. Take two. And fire. <gasps> there we go. And that's pretty much how that works for Godzilla. And I'll go on ahead and show you guys what I mean with the lights glow, the lights in the eyes of the figures. So let me go ahead and take you guys really up close for that. All right, hopefully this will pick up, but if not, you'll see it in the dark. But here's just a quick example. Then there we have it for these two figures that definitely size up well with each other. So now let's go ahead and see what Fiercilla Jr. and Mighty Kong Jr. have to say about this. So Fiercezilla Jr., what are your final thoughts on these two figures that we have with us here today. just have one question to ask you then because I see that you're here today so where's Mighty Kong Jr. who said that he was going to be here today in this video can you explain that to me what do you mean you 
took care of it. <laughs> What's your problem? He's just a, another guest on on the figure review. Obviously, you're here all the time, but that doesn't mean you have to let not allow other people to join every now and then. And if you're not around, who else is going to help me cover on these figure reviews then? Oh, great. So now you're telling me Mighty Kong Jr. is lost somewhere. That eventually I'll be able to find. Well, can you give me a hint at least as to where then? still a junior you and I gotta talk after this and speaking of next week so next week I'm gonna be covering and going over the Funko Pop figures from Godzilla vs Kong and I will be going over the Jumbo Pops and and the other Funko Pop figures such as Mechagodzilla and those other variations of Kong and of course those teeny tiny Funko Pops as well that are on a keychain. Well, all right. Here's Zilla Jr. Do you want to close out this time or should I? Okay, yeah, I thought so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel? And if you haven't already, you can also follow us at the Fierce Zilla on Instagram, which we linked in the description below and i guess we will see you guys next time pure soul jr for real where is mighty kong jr and what happened to mecha fierce zilla jr as well